function but I stayed up till about three in the morning this morning finishing that video and this is the product of my endeavors I am so tired I got let's see three four five six maybe five five and a half hours not really more like five but um yeah so it's on here and then just in case it doesn't work i have a backup drive so yeah i'm so glad it's done it looked good it came out really well the timing was eh, it could be better but you know when we have so much going on well oh, like my eyes are like puffy from staying up so late and they're a little bit watery and it kind of hurt. You know, when you wake up too fast, your your eyes kind of like hurt. Yeah, that's what it feels like right now. So, yep, as soon as my dad is ready, we're going to go to church. And then I'm going to go to first and second service. And then we'll go eat lunch. Oh, this is not what it is. It is just Look, Erica's going to put it in. So long, Hi, Hey. Our key's not working. We got out of church. Yep. We got out of church. I almost fell asleep, but I didn't. I, I closed my eyes. I definitely closed my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but I was still listening and taking notes. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Fo Viet Restaurante. Vietnamese and Chinese cuisine. Mm. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Little right? sister. Hello. Yeah, the big round. Hi again. Hello. What you doing? Video taping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back at home and um yeah, so after church we went and had food at Noodle Palace, which is a pho or pho, whatever you want to call it, place, and I had uh, number one, um, which is a soup, and it was really delicious. And then I had some pork and fried rice off of my mother's plate, which was also very delicious. And um, it's super cold. My heater's warming up, so sorry for the background noise that is about to start happening. Um, let's see. So today, uh, <laughs> I woke up at about, let's see, 7.30, and... Um, I got my USB drive stuff, like everything was ready, everything was good. And then at church, I had, uh, we had a debrief and that's where we showed the video and it turned out really well. Everyone liked it and enjoyed it. We also showed the photo slide show that I also did during that weekend event and um, everything went smoothly and well. Um, praise the Lord for that. And then for second service, I went downstairs and I listened to um, my pastor, David Burdick, uh, teach on uh, the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, wait, self-control, long-suffering, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. There's long-suffering in there. I don't know. I don't know anymore. But, like, you know the fruits of the spirit. It's in, found in Galatians 5. Uh, verses uh, 22 to 25 that was the passage and it was talking about how um, the fruit of the spirit is what the Lord wants to um, you know develop in our life today like for for 2015 like you know everyone's starting to like think about the changes and growth and what we can do better for this year and um, so they've been doing a lot of like hey let's let the Lord change us let ask the Lord hey um, what fruits of the spirit do I need and um, Let me look at my notes really quick, but it was really good. I really like how pastor David makes everything um, apl Applicable like he makes it really clear um, Okay, so the part that we need to play in the change which is the up the application part of it is that we need to give ourselves fully to Jesus we need to deny ourself and crucify our flesh he used the word crucified. I really like how he pointed this out. Um, 
he said crucified our flesh, not put to death our flesh, because put to death can be meaning anything, but, but to crucify our flesh is like, in other words, being like Jesus. We, we're, we're basically crucifying our flesh, which became Jesus, like, so to speak. So to speak, you know? So then we can feel more, uh, not feel, but like know and feel and um, our heart translates that as like, hey, this is such a big deal, you know? It's such a big deal, you know, because we are crucifying God, like Jesus. It it just makes it so much more humbling for us, you know? Um, it's just so good. Oh, wow, I just realized that. That was so great. Um, and then the third thing that he said is that we need to learn to walk in the spirit and um, just surrounding ourselves that would cultivate um, the spirit that would basically lead us to think good thoughts and to have um, a wonderful time and basically connect the Lord to him. So we don't need to be filling our brains with all these garbage with movies and books and um, you can fill your brain up with other books, other movies that can point you to the Lord, you know, and, um, it's just like, we can do the things that other people do, but we just gotta find the right ones to participate, to read in, to listen to, you know, so it's just taking that other side road, the, the narrow, the narrow path and not other people usually take, so, um, yeah, that was my day today, um, I definitely took a nap in between services, um, so in between, uh, second service and evening service, um, we gotta listen to Pastor Tom Hidman, and he taught on Micah 6, 1, 8, which I've never heard taught on before, and verse 8 was like, um, well, verse 5, I really like how Jesus desires for us to know the righteousness of him, like, that's what he desires, like, he wants us to know him, like, that's super rad, and then, um, yeah he desires mercy and not sacrifice and then verse 8 which was like the big portion of the teaching was like do justly love mercy and walk humbly but it's like knowing being and doing and knowing is like studying reading the word theology you know um just knowing it up here being is like inner development like oh where can i work let the holy spirit move me um like it's all inner inner development with the relationship with the Lord and then doing is like acts of service of so serving in ministries or becoming a leader uh, like I am in like high school group or something like that um so he was saying like you can't have one without the other you have to have all three of them together in order for it to you know have that like humble righteous walk with Christ you know um so yeah the, that was the evening service so I'm so glad I took a nap. I think I took a nap for, let's see, it was like four, five, six, or so, like maybe two hours, which was great because I needed those two hours. So hopefully I can go to bed at night. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog. Make sure to comment down below and like this and give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Okay?